support. Okay, uh, well, dear colleagues, uh, I'm a second presenter and I will now share my screen, just a second. Okay, I hope that you see my presentation, easy to read materials, first slide. Okay, well, um, my topic is um, easy to read adaptation or easy to read material. And uh, on the beginning of my presentation, I would like to explain what are easy to read materials. There are two kinds of easy to read materials. First uh, is a linguistic adaptation of a text that makes that text easier to read than the average text, but which, but which does not make it easier to comprehend. And also easy to read material could be adaptation that makes both reading and comprehension easier. Um, I would like to explain my motivation for this topic. Of course, my school has a, has a, a topic, uh, inclusive education for inclusive society, but why I choose to um, talk about easy to read materials. Uh, in the photo, you can see some examples of easy to read adaptations. Lena, yes? We, uh, we are seeing only first slide. Oh, why, why, why? Now? Okay, now. Now, okay, do you see it now? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, you can see on this photo uh, books from uh, our school library um, that was bought for our school um, library by our school librarian last year. Unfortunately, in the Croatian book market, in the Croatian language, there are not many easy to read adaptations. Uh, I took these books last year and read them with one of my classes um, that are students with stronger cognitive disabilities. And I was a little bit surprised by their positive reactions. Uh, they were much more motivated for reading when we read that books and much more curious about different aspects uh, of the story. Uh, Just a second. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the aim of easy to read materials? The aim of easy to read publication is to present clear and easily understood texts appropriate for different um, age groups and people with different abilities. Um, benefit from easy to read materials, we can see at people with various levels of reading disabilities that, was, that, that are caused by dyslexia, intellectual disabilities, attention deficit, for example, and also uh, with people who, uh, who had, uh, have limited reading skills caused by other factors like no, no native language speakers, people with limited education, or for example, children up to the fourth grade level. When we talk about easy to read adaptations, we have adaptation on several levels. We can adapt um, uh, language, content, illustration, design, and layout. Uh, I need to say here that we can use easy, easy to read adaptation of um, um, famous uh, literary works but also we that are published, but also we can make our own easy to read materials. And I will show you one, my ex example that I made last year. Uh, when we make adaptation on the level of language and content, we need to avoid abstract language. We should use uh, simple words. Uh, also, we need to explain unusual and difficult words. Uh, longer words should not be split on two lines. Um, action in sentence uh, should be direct and simple, and we should uh, put just one action in single sentence. And also, when we finish our adaptation, if we are the author of the adaptation, it is recommended to test that material with our students or, in fact, target group. Uh, it is also recommended uh, that we adapt short stories or short texts, uh, but also you can adapt some excerpts from longer texts like novels. It's not it's not a problem. 
Uh, for students with disabilities, illustrations are equally important as adapted text. Uh, so um, images in adapted text will help readers to understand what the text is about. Illustrations should be placed in direct connection to the text. Um, also, uh, they should be clear and made it in the same style throughout the text. Uh, in these photos, you can see three photos of books uh, and examples of easy to read publications from our school library. And um, I intentionally put the first photo because um, it's a book, it's an easy to read material, material, but with very few illustrations. And I can say that my experience is that our students were very disappointed when they read that book. They uh, used that. Uh, they took that book and uh, several times that they, they ask where are the illustrations because uh, they like illustrations very much and they uh, the illustrations uh, help uh, them to understand the text uh, layout and design what is important to say about layout and design the pages of easy to read material should be numbered uh, the layout should be clean and attractive with wide margins and more spacing. Every sentence, new sentence, should start in a new line. Uh, sentences should not be uh, longer than two lines, and there should be a limited number of lines per page. Also, uh, there are recommended fonts for easy to read materials. Very often, uh, that fonts are in fact recommended fonts for readers who have uh, dyslexia and type size should be for 14 points or bigger. Uh, what we should avoid when we make easy to read adaptation, um, some things like a picture or pattern as a background of our text, we should avoid italics and we should avoid special writing design. You can see on this photo some examples because such actions make reading more difficult. Uh, what can be a problem when we make our easy to read adaptation? A uh, problem can be uh, that, especially if you are a language or literature teacher, uh, that we are, uh, think, and we are, of course, um, if, of course, that's a fact, that atmosphere, emotion, and stylistic details are equally important as story. And for language and liter literature teacher, teachers, sometimes it's not so easy to write in, in simple language because they think that they are on the edge of banality. But all the time we need to be aware of the fact that without easy to read adaptations, some people would never read that kind of text. Um, on this slide, you can see an example of easy to read adaptation that I found online. On the left side is an original text, um, excerpt from the novel The Count of Monte Cristo, original version in English, of course. And on the left side, uh, on the right side, I'm sorry, is easy to read adaptation in English. And on the first look, you can see how easier the right text is uh, for reception and for reading. And I, uh, on the beginning, I mentioned that I will show you an example of easy to read material that I made by my own. Uh, last year, I uh, made an, I tried to make, uh, make an adaptation of easy to read adaptation of a short story Kashtanka by Russian, uh, Russian writer Cheho. And on this slide, you can see on the left side, the excerpt from the Kashtanka in Croatian language, original text. And on the right side is my easy to read adaptation. Also, you can see, I think on this slide, you can see that I um, make an explanation of um, words that I thought that could be uh, unusual and maybe unknown for my, uh, for my students. Uh, I publi published that adaptation on creation repository of digital educational materials, and I think that I, that repository is something similar to the platform that Shukran um, mentioned when she talked about uh, Turkish um, educational system. 
Uh, also, I said that the illustration is an important thing and easy to read material. Well, I'm not a skilled illustrator. So for this publication, I made illustrations in Canva. Um, you can see here some example. Later, I'll show you uh, very quickly the, the whole publication. And I tried that some uh, illustration to be symbolic because um, I made this adaptation for my students. And I thought that uh, that symbolic illustrations could encourage some maybe cross curricular connections, for example, like, like this pyramid. Uh, besides uh, literally works, uh, we can um, adapt for easy reading, easy news. And for some countries, it's very common. Unfortunately, Croatia isn't among that the, those countries. Uh, it's common uh, that um, they are easy to read adaptation of everyday news. And people believe that easy news is an important part of a democratic uh, society and contemporary society. Um, uh, mm. People People with intellectual disabilities uh, have um, several benefits from easy to read news. Uh, they learn new things, uh, they take part in society, uh, they, um, they introduce their rights and stand, stand up for them, and they are able to make their own choices. Uh, here on this slide, you can see uh, easy to read logo. So when you see this logo, you will know that it is an easy to read adaptation. And also if you make your own adaptation, you can uh, mark it with is common European logo of easy to read materials. Um, here you can see sources that I use in, when, when I prepare this presentation. And um, it's very, uh, very detailed explanation for making easy to read materials, guidelines for easy to read materials by International Federation of Library Association and Institutions. You can find it online and the page Inclusion Europe. And now, um, just a second. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, I would like to show you that adaptation of Kashtanka uh, here. If it's of course in Croatian. Uh, on the beginning, uh, I made some pre-reading activities uh, for uh, readers, for, for, for my students. Uh, then you can see the text on the left side with uh, explanation of unknown words. And on the right side is um, my illustration, very, not so creative, but as I already said, I'm not very, a very good illustrator. And, and that illustration on every page is in some connection with the text on the left side, of course. And uh, we, we have on the end of the publication, some post-reading activities and some interesting facts and questions about Chekhov's works, uh, work and life with some- Sorry, uh, sorry. Kash yes. What Kashtanka means in English? Oh, Kashtanka. Uh, Kashtanka is a name of a dog. Dog. Yes. Yes. Name. Okay. Name. Name, name, yes. Name. In, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry. Okay, just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so if you have some comments or maybe questions, feel free to ask. You said, uh, you said pages should be numbered, why? Uh, I think that uh, that's, of course, from the guidelines. I didn't, uh, yeah. that's, that's not my idea. Pro I suppose that uh, um, students with disabilities, for them, it's easier to uh, to find something in a text, you know, with if, you, if there are numbers on the pages. Yes, I suppose that's the reason. If, especially if you work with students who, has, uh, who have some stronger, uh, higher cognitive mm -hmm. disabilities. Mm -hmm. So it's like a sense of order. Yeah, something like that, probably. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. 
Okay, thank you. So, Lubinka, Oana. Um, I think I'll just leave Lubinka. Lubinka. Okay. Okay. Lubinka, I just need to make you host so you can now share your screen. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Do you see my? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I see you. Okay. Uh, as Helena said, my topic is assess for disadvantage. And uh, on first, uh, I want to say something about our students. It There is... Uh, students in our school uh, who are coming uh, from different uh, different social different different economic uh, background background and uh, with different uh, knowledges uh, from a primary school and uh, in uh, in all of um, uh, working with with them, there is talented and there is uh, with problems, and we should like professor as you have the same problem. I suppose I suppose uh, we should make some uh, interesting uh, lessons for for every student uh, to like the, the subject or like to, uh, to reading, to writing, et, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, uh, how, how we, okay, or how uh, I uh, make easier, easier way to, uh, to, I have problem. Uh, is there is there a way to to make them to have uh, work um, write reading habit or uh, or to uh, solve the problems with with writing? Uh, some of uh, ways uh, we are making presentations or or uh, working with groups uh, and the groups are um, made with all students uh, not not uh, only uh, the best they are they are messed and uh, every student will uh, help to to students who have a problem with with uh, any any problem, uh, we don't have so much um, um, students with with um, oh, with students uh, who have uh, problems with with uh, this dyslexia or, or the other the other uh, problems, but uh, we have students uh, who um, uh, Macedonian language is not uh, native language, and the problems because in the primary school they are uh, learning Macedonian language but but only with uh, little classes and uh, they have not same uh, knowledge with the others and uh, about about uh, uh, Make habits. Uh, I try to to uh, put it on scene uh, 
dramas uh, from different different literatures and uh, with acting uh, students make uh, habits to uh, not not um, only to read but uh, and to act the 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 rollers of of that uh, books uh, then we organize um, organize um, visiting uh, poets or uh, visiting reading of uh, different uh, different uh, authors uh, then uh, in our town there is it is a uh, uh, several museum of of uh, poets and um, and writers and we are going on um, going to going on visit uh, in their museums and talk about their work about their uh, uh, literature they're made uh, and uh, everything to uh, to to have uh, more habits on, on reading uh, because of of uh, problems uh, as we teacher uh, we we have to found some various uh, ways to to help to the children, to students, uh, about uh, solving that problems. Um, the students from the rural um, areas and different backgrounds, um, they have a little problem about uh, how to found the books uh, because uh, in rural areas, there is no libraries. Uh, and uh, our school every year uh, make make some uh, ways to uh, uh, give give the books from uh, each year's year on on next year students to uh, have. Uh, have the books and uh, at la uh, at last year uh, there is a uh, online library and um, but it, it's not so big uh, only the smallest uh, books that we can found on uh, online uh, library um, it it's on uh, Macedonica uh, Foundation, but it's poor. Uh, big, big book can't uh, put, put. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, in, in the other side, uh, when uh, they can uh, read or they, they don't want to read, uh, we should uh, find a way how to motivate uh, students uh, to love reading. Uh, maybe uh, students, um, because of, of uh, not habit, have a habit to read, uh, they have a poor vocabulary uh, difficulties in grammar, difficulties in struct, uh, structure uh, of words, spellings, or the, uh, the other uh, problems. Uh, and everything is on, uh, on um, it's, um, go on, um, Uh, I, I I miss the word. Uh, everything is is a problem. Uh, 
if we don't have uh, how to to uh, find out uh, in this uh, in this uh, classes of native language or uh, literature uh, because of uh, of everything uh, and my opinion is uh, that uh, we have problems uh, maybe and you have the same problems and we should uh, be careful when we uh, try to to uh, make um, understanding an individual individual uh, work with uh, students uh, we uh, have to be more more uh, uh, more uh, we should we should motivate uh, the students and uh, to make um, more um, um, bigger bigger vocabulary a uh, bigger uh, font of words and they will uh, have uh, solve that problems that they have. Uh, in, in some of the uh, ways we are trying to develop, uh, to develop skills for creation, uh, creating literature. Uh, we we uh, motivate uh, students on competition of reading text or answering a questions from text. And uh, with all of that, uh, they, they can uh, have a, a creative, uh, creative uh, uh, way to, to um, have uh, staffs and uh, make a uh, how to to uh, be be more more uh, satisfied and and all we together we have uh, uh, biggest su success in in uh, everything uh, one way of of uh, making uh, better uh, education there is a, an our uh, chance to have participation in this project to make exchange every experience we have and uh, uh, make more more uh, good things for our students. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lyubinka, very much. Just on time because we have just the one minute till the end of this session. So, um, okay, if you have some questions or comments maybe for Lyubinka? No, okay. Well, uh, now I'll uh, finish this session and please use the link for the third time. Okay.